This shit is so heavy. I have some albums to open. Yay. So these I all ordered from one store, and this was from a food order. I got freebies. Wait, is this, is this official? This is the best pre-order benefit I've ever seen in my life. Also, these season's greetings. <gasps> New Yellow Dami. Oh my god. As you can see, I did buy Taylor's album. His solo debut, which I have been impatiently waiting for like three years. That's how excited I am. I still can't believe these. What is he eating? That looks fucking delicious. As you can see, I have almost all of the versions of Taeyang's Shalala. I'm just missing, there's another version that looked like this. It was the collector version, I think. But I only got the thorn version. Because this is kind of big. And I also got Dreamcatcher's album. And the reason I got this version is because the photo cards are the cutest in this one. I was going to buy one of the normal versions because they were smaller. And like, they're like square size. And I was like, oh, I'll just get the limited. Because it was a little bit more expensive, but like... But I love this comeback so much, so I don't regret it. And then we have Album of the Year, Thank You From Snowman. I'm going to open Taeyong's albums first because I have been waiting for these. This is as much as I can zoom out. I will do my best. One thing about me is I love Taeyong and I like NCT as a whole. I don't know if people really know that because I am more of a girl group stan, but everything just fell out. I used to be obsessed with NCT as a whole from like 2018 to like 2021 and I still really like them but that shit was my entire personality to the point where it would like affect me mentally so I kind of took a step back but being a Chong F, a Taeyong friend, <laughs> especially in the summer of 2020 was brutal. I was in the trenches every day on Twitter. That shit was not good for my mental health. <sighs> He's so hot. <laughs> One thing about lesbians, they love sexy men. Dude, this photo book is crazy. This reminds me of Colorful Trauma by Woods. Like that photo shoot. <laughs> Mom, I threw up. So I've been obsessed with him for a really long time. And I was always really excited for his solo music. Because he would always post on SoundCloud. And his SoundCloud music still goes crazy. I was hoping that there'd be more features. Because he had a song with Beckham and Sylvie. The Beckham one is called Monroe. That shit's so good. I was really hoping he would have this on this album. but And then Roses was the one with Silky, but I'm glad we got a Wendy feature for Move, Mood, Move? Move, Move, Move. Triple M. That's what it used to be called um, when it was like before he officially released it. But yeah, I love Tam's solo stuff. Oh, his tattoos. I just think he's so fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry this isn't great to flip through, but you're not gonna get that here. So we have a postcard oh, nice. and he wrote a fucking huge essay this is thanks to and then here's the CD Ooh. sticker I was really happy with the design of this album it feels very him especially the collector's version I wish I kind of got that one more stickers SMM okay more stickers the music video is insane Here's the photo card. Oh, I love this one. All the Thorn version photo cards are so good. <laughs> That's the Thorn version. So I don't have the other version of that one, the collector version, but I do have the archive version. I love how tiny and compact it is. This is like my favorite size of albums. Taeyong used to always tease unreleased songs like all the time, especially on Instagram lives and stuff. This is so thick. I think at least two of those songs. It was virtual reality. It used to be GDA 2. GDA part 2. That song is actually crazy. <gasps> the two minutes. Okay. I'm like okay. And we have a Polaroid and <gasps> Yay! This is my favorite. This is I've seen pre <gasps> Oh. So this is called the archive version. So it's basically just like a bunch of little pictures from like his years as an idol. I think that's so fucking cute. I know there's some with his dog Ruby, who did pass away, I think last year. <gasps> yeah, Ruby. And he named a song after Ruby. He just shows like his hobbies and stuff. Like he really likes Legos and like nerdy shit. 
I think that's why I like him so much. I just like relate to him a lot. He also loves his fish. There's a video of him giving his fish surgery. He's the man of many jobs. That's so cute. Yeah, this might be my favorite version. I used to collect them as well, but I don't know why. I just kind of stopped feeling like it. I will definitely be collecting all these cards. I'm gonna hopefully I can find them on Mercari Japan. I've looked a little bit and I've seen a lot of his cards. Alright, now we have the Digi Pack. I love when his hair is down. My favorite hairstyle from him ever, and he has had many, is his gray mullet, and he brought that back. He had so many hair colors. Like, pretty much every music show, it was mainly green, but almost every music show, it was like a different color, different style. Okay, wait a minute, guys. That's a mad. It's a small photo book. He has many concepts in this photo book and I fucking love it. The music video is probably one of my favorite music videos, like probably this year. Let's see. <gasps> you want a basketball? Okay, cool. I don't remember what the other ones look like. Sick. He's done so many dance challenges, like the TikTok shortened version of his dance with so many idols. He did one with Promise and like that was for me. And then the last version I bought was the SM Mini. I used to not like his green hair, but I really like this version of it. There's one I really want. It's him in like the Yeti outfit. <laughs> Wait. It's the night one. Okay, this one's really good too. <laughs> yes. Our employee of the month. Uh -huh. I think most of the photo cards were like three versions each. Oops, this is upside down. <laughs> And I did want a specific pre-order benefit. I wanted the one where he was holding the sweet potato, but I think arguably this one is better. <laughs> okay, those are all my Kaon albums. I'm gonna open Dreamcatcher next. <gasps> now we have Big Bitch Dreamcatcher. And why is this the best album ever? I feel like people were calling the title track boring, but this is real music. I love Singers Who Sing. Also, they're beside Demian, Demian. They kind of get me. Okay, little passport. Well, it's kind of like plasticky. What is? This? Okay, interesting. Wait, let me zoom out. I watched a video of both of the. I think it was orange and purple version because I didn't know which one I wanted to buy, but I know the limiteds always combine the two concepts, so I just thought this one would be better because I like both of the concepts. Like. It's kind of like a day and night version. It kind of reminds me of summer holiday a bit, but still very pretty. Yeah, this is like, I'm showing this so horribly. The, oh, now it's the day concept. Oh, this is the night concept. I feel like I might like this one better. Uh, yeah, they're fucking gorgeous. And then we have some other inclusions. So I'm just three photo cards. This. This like rock thing. Bookmark. Okay, and then we have a film strip of Jiu, Chion, and Sua. I think so. We have postcards. <laughs> Her fucking shoes. <gasps> oh my god. So cute. Dude, Tommy looks so fucking good. <laughs> oh. Okay. I love them. I feel like Dreamcatcher would definitely be a group I'd want to collect, but their photo cards are kind of hit or miss for me, and a lot of them are out of print, obviously. <gasps> Adami, oh my god. This is one of the previews I saw. I love it. <gasps> her bubble gum. This must be a concept card. Nope. It's Jiu. And then this, yeah, it's Jiu. I'm obsessed with her. Yup. Okay, those are my calls for Dreamcatchers. Apocalypse from us. I did not even remember the name. Song of the Year, Bon Voyage. I fucking love that shit. My bias, I think, is Yuhyun. I definitely would want to collect a few more cards for her. I don't think I would like ever fully collect her, but maybe I would have like a collect book. Maybe. Oh, I didn't know what this is. It must be a standee or something. Dude, this is not gonna fit on my shelf. I thought it was gonna be skinnier. It's okay. 
also this is what was making the box so fucking heavy and lastly we have unlock my world for this morning and i decided to get the digipack version because the other albums i like the concepts i was gonna get the reality version because that's the photo card set i'm gonna collect i didn't really like the packaging and i prefer something more small and compact and also this one's pink so yep i might try to collect all the digipack cards just because you get two in them we get two in all of them but there's only one version of this photo card also it is kind of like it seems to get damaged easily which sucks but i like just open it from the top maybe i'll do that okay we have the cd which is pink and i love and this whole album is so fucking good my favorites are prom nights my night routine attitude yeah mm. momentica who gives a fuck okay if you want this take it and we have a bookmark wait i didn't even have i know these are membered what did i get wait oh, i got the group one. Oh, why did that take me so long to register because i genuinely love the whole group so much and my bias is technically so young but i would have been happy with anyone so yeah that's Good for me that I got the group because I love them all. And then for photo cards, we have Sam. Oh my god. And Juwan. I love Juwan's cards this era. I might try to collect the other digipacks and I'll have two photo card sets for this era. But it's kind of special because this is their first full album. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't get pushed back anymore. We finally got their well deserved first full album repackaged next, right? These were the albums I got all together. And I'm gonna open my group of her album. Well, it's a platform album, and it's kind of like a weird group that people may not know about. Okay, BRB. Wait, just kidding. This is not what I thought it was. I guess I'll still open it and I'll stick it at the end. Okay, it's the next day, and now I have the group order albums. I don't know why I didn't even check to see if that's what that was. I open this, and I know for sure it's my albums. And we have. Cho, the best group ever. As you can see, we have some VR girlies. Here's a group order I joined. I think they're the only US group order that hosted for this debut. So we got a sticker of a hamster. And so this is like a hollow life card. I think her name's Luna. I'm not an album. So this was a sorted group order. And I got two albums, just because I think this is such a, like, special debut. Like, it's so funny. I feel like many people probably have not heard of this, and that's okay, because I know I have superior taste. And I got Luda's character, Kyung, and Subin's character, Serena. I'm gonna open one of these first. I think I'm only gonna open one of them and just keep the other one closed. But I know they're both open. This is just sorted. I usually hate this type of packaging, but... You don't have to rip this part. You just open it from the top. And this box is so cute. It's very tiny, but it is a platform album, so. So it comes with 10 photo cards. Here are all the cards that come in the platform version. So we have the group card. And I know all the backs are different, so I'll show all the backs for each of the girls. So first we have Luda from WDSN, her character Kyung. Kyung? I'm gonna butcher these names, but she has feathers on the back of hers. And we have Heejin from Her character is Rien, and hers is a moon. And then this is Hyung from A Pink, and her character's name is Sorite. Sorite? Yeah. And she has beans on the back of hers. Wait, are those beans? And we have Subin from WJSN. Her character's name is Serena, and her <laughs> she's a cowboy hat. I love her character design. I think it's so cute. And lastly, we have Unbi, who was in Eyes One and then now a soloist. Her character is Moneo. Moneo? And hers is a little octopus. I love her little design with the octopus on her head. Very cute. So those are all the cards that come in a single platform version, as well as a random QR and then a random selfie. And we'll open in the random cards. Kino. This is her QR one. And then this is the selfie. <laughs> I know people were disappointed that the selfies weren't of 
the actual girls, but these are the real singers. And they have Subin or Sedina, sorry. And I think Sedina is my favorite like design because of her pink cowboy hat. Like it's so freaking funny. So this is her selfie. It's giving very dusty amber photo card. So that was what was in Cho's first debut album. Kind of album of the year. Definitely go listen to it. I think this lineup is really, really fun. I'm very happy to get this. This gives me a huge jump start for my CSR collection. Not really a jump start. I just this helps me complete the light basically. Ow, I just caught myself. Okay, everything's in here. I also bought some La Seraphim cards. Here are inclusions from the light. I'm assuming I don't have the album, so I don't actually know what it looks like. This is so cute. I'm totally using this. Actually, I don't even want to use it. I want to keep it. Here's what I bought from. They have so many CSR cards. This is so cute. I don't want to ruin it. Let's see if I can just slide it out. Oh, there's a lot. So I have all of the other members for the Bloody Rose version. So there's Unche, Yee, Kazuha, Minjin, and Sakura. Yay! And then I already have two ones. Yeah, best concept ever. I will keep saying it. And then the rest are CSR cards. These are just the delight cards that I was missing. We have Gumi, Soyan, Tuna, another Gumi. I think I bought Gumi's whole set. And Soyan. We have the other Gumi card. And then the other two Soyans. And then I already have Duna's selfie. So I have her boarding card thing. This completes delight. Okay, that's all I had. Goodbye. Play, play.